so can we also push some forest steel land life? Do I have what is needed for forest? What support do we want? Do we have Rosa copies? I unfortunately constantly feed Rosa, so may not be able to show off some forest seal land until I have. Man, this is what happens when you hoard and you feed the wrong heroes. Nope, no Rosa copies. I don't really know if, I kind of want to run two Rosas. And we don't have the replacements. Rosa come out of here. Yeah. See what happens. Come on, game. One Rosa copy. Alright, if we can get two Rosa copies. Look at that, guys. Finally, RNG is on my side. Two Rosa copies from Shards. Let's put some for tr Forest Seal Land. Alright, so we're going to use Garuda Garuda, Heartwatcher. And then at five star, we're going to run Olivia Rosa Rosa. That should be at least a good put. So we do have some priest gear already. We will use five star gear on these Olivia's just in case we need other stuff. All right, we're gonna have to start stealing some energy artifacts, including some demon bells for fun. We'll just take four, just in case we need them. All right, so Olivia, two two, with a magic source. Actually, Olivia is gonna be in the back, so we will give her. I guess it doesn't matter, we only have the one glittery demon bell, we're going to give that to Heart Watcher. Does Olivia's attack do anything for us? Not really, we'll give her the demon bell, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so Olivia is done. Let's level up those two roses we luckily pulled. So we'll build this Rosa. We don't have the Priest gear anymore. I don't think that really matters. I'm not going to pull off Priest gear. We'll just run him with a 5-4 split. And a regular energy artifact. So this Rosa is done. Let's level up another Rosa. Alright, Rosa, we will run 5 4 on as well. It'd be nice if they could get off a second active, but I'm really not expecting much from the Rosas or the Olivias. Oh, yeah, let's see if we unlocked. Oh, yeah, 450 HP. Did we unlock stones on the other two? We did not. All right, Rosa, Rosa, Olivia are done. Heart Watcher, we're keeping standard, 2-2, two, two, speed HP. We will give her that Glittery Demon Bell, just in case we get some nice RNG. And let's look at our Garudas. So Garuda 1, I want to set up tankier. So we're actually gonna swap to a 2-2 two, two split. Keep the Rune's power. Keep the Holy Attack HP, also because it's the only one I have. And we will swap away from the speed enables. We'll keep Lethal Fight back for now. Vitality, and we'll keep Unbending. And Garuda number two, we'll go a little more aggressive. Um, I, th 
think I want the Punisher Staff on this Garuda. So we'll go... 3-1, good, so that's our setup. That's the better one for Garuda, right? Doesn't really matter, alright. Holy attack attack, so not HP. Punisher Staff. And... Full red... We'll go full red for now. I don't know if we'll want or need unbending. We'll give it a try like this. Alright, so let's give it a try. We're at Seal Land 15. We've got the team set up. I'll probably speed through it for the highlights, but... We'll go Rosa Rosa... Heart Watcher, Olivia, Tanky Squishy. I need to get a skin so I can tell them apart. Um, I may swap the Tanky Garuda to slot 2 in a, if it doesn't work, but let's see how this works first. So the Heart Watcher should keep Olivia around, ideally for a second active, although I'm pretty sure we need to get the boss... Well, I guess we don't need to get the boss down. Uh, this should be a fairly easy clear for these Garudas to finish off. Assuming we can get another active out, but the strong one doesn't have unbending. Oh yeah, they're fine. Although the tanky one's the only one left. But unbending hasn't popped yet. This nice and easy clear. Alright. Boom. Nice and easy clear for... F yeah, so the tanky one lived, but <laughs> even though the other one died, he definitely did the damage. So I like that setup better. Let's try a 17. Let's put that tanky one in the slot 2. Maybe keep one of these roses alive for a second active as well. See if that Garuda gets off a second active. Nope. Or sorry, that second Rosa. We really need Olivia to shrink the boss more to keep his actives from hurting as badly. Oh man, thank you. Oh my goodness, 98 million crit. I was worried about that one, but that damaging Garuda hit like a truck. So that is a, an easy... 16 and 17 clear with one attempt. Can we push 18 with this team? Can we do it, guys? I'd almost contemplate pushing the Olivia now if we can get one more level out of her. Alright, there goes the support. They are down a lot earlier nowadays. Yeah, unless he... Alright. May not be able to push 18 with just the Garudas and 5-star support. I don't know. I don't know how much RNG can really save us outside of Olivia Actives at this point. Come on, Olivia. Hit that boss for us. I want to see how it looks if we hit the boss. Oh no, we lost the strong Garuda already. Uh, let's throw on bending on him. Yeah. He is critting a lot with the staff, so it's mostly going to be the extra healing. Unbending may keep him alive for one more big active, like that 98 million. Maybe we'll level up Olivia a little further for now, too. Come on, hit the boss girl. She does not. Curious to see if it's just RNG on her or not. These boss actives hit so hard. All 
Alright, so we did proc on bending on that back Garuda, but hopefully he can stay alive and get off another active, which would be nice of it. Uh, yep, this is going to end us. I don't think this other Garuda is going to be able to kill him fast enough. Let's see, we get a monster crit, yeah. We'll do one more, see if Olivia can tag the boss. If not, we'll level our, her up a little bit. Come on, girl. Ah, uh, she doesn't. I'm guessing this is a failure, too. Yep, alright. Let's level up Olivia a bit. I've talked about making her E5 one day anyway. Why not at least start now? Alright, so now we've got the 9-star Olivia. Oh, I forgot that it does the exchange again. Oops, that's fine. Hopefully she can get out a few actives now. Really hit that boss and give us at least sea land 18. I don't know how much further we can go. <laughs> Mosher hit the boss this time. Just to spite us. She just refuses to hit the boss with that first active. Hitting the boss with the first active means that we may get to keep a Rosa for after his first active, which would be nice. There we go. Alright. This active shouldn't kill everyone. Alright, well it does. But our Garudas are basically full health and he's going to take more damage. So let's see how this goes. Although they're not going to have... Yeah, they're not going to get an active against him. Alright, this is looking a lot cleaner. That active will hurt, but we've got unbending on both of them. And our stronger Ruta will make it to his active. Should be an easy clear. Boom. Nice! Seal land 18. This Garuda is a beast. 19? Can we get 19? Can we push all the way to 20? It's been so long since I've got a seal land 20. I cleared Dark 20 like when it came out since I already had carry an Amonrata E5. I never made a Penny. Never made a Cthulhu. My Delisiums aren't E5. Alright. Can we get the boss shrunk now too? Nope. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Emma. Uh, level 343. That's what happens when you start on server 16 in. November or so of 2016. Um, I've been inactive for parts, but yeah, definitely an older player, but just started recently making some content. So yeah, it's, now I'm server one that mergers happened, but even before mergers, I was on a pretty low level server. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. And Do we have nine star food? I don't know if Olivia is the first hero I want to push. We already rebirthed a snake. Do we really want to feed a scary tonight as well? We've got an Olivia in the bag. We'll try one more attempt and see what happens. We need to shrink that boss. Alright, that is a good, good first round shrink. I do think this team could probably get 20 with some RNG, but I think our laziness may outpace the RNG. That boss active won't crush us too terribly, which is nice. Maybe keep someone alive. Nah. Support heroes can't survive that active even if he's shrunk. Uh, our backup Groot is already hurting. He needs to get an active out before he dies. He will get it out, but that boss is going to be too much for us to handle. Yeah, this one's going to be a rip. Alright. Let's push Olivia to... Let's upgrade her stone a little bit. We are going to keep her.
<laughs> I actually started tonight with 3 billion gold, but rebirthed the snake and leveled up a ton of support heroes. Uh, that might be worth saving. She doesn't really need the speed, but I don't know if she's going to get an HP HP in these next few rolls. We'll save it. That's good enough. And let's let's make her 10 star now. We want her eventually anyway. We want to play with her for the Delaciums. We need to stop pretending that we'll make scaries. Because I don't have a penny. Um, I've been playing for so long that uh, CLN Arc 20 was the first one I was able to clear. So it's actually the only 20 I have. Um, a Fortress is actually my worst. Uh, I don't have the heroes for it. Uh, Valentina was made a E3 when he was meta and E3 was the cap. I could push for it. I'm not able to finish for CLN 20. I may just finish this penny because I'll likely swap her for Sherlock anyway if I don't swap this Valentino. So maybe pushing Penny to E5 and then swapping her to Sherlock the next event may be something I do. Um, having a non-dark would be nice, but mostly I'm doing this for the content and the initial clear shards. All right, so the Olivia's 10 star now. Oh yeah, let's... Scary gets to live another day. We'll put him back. Although I guess the Olivia's better anyway. Awesome, yeah, Penny is a great first E5. Uh, after her, you can focus on really clearing that Fortress Seal and 20. And she'll also get you to at least Hell 50 in Aspen Dungeon, if not Death 1 with some good RNG. I actually think Olivia should go here. We'll run double Delacium on our trash team. You can have your skin back for now. Yeah, my VIP 5 alt account will hopefully push for E5 eventually, but it will be Cthulhu, who's another similar hero to Penny Horus. Alright, come on, 10 star Olivia. We need you to survive for a few more shrinks this time. And I guess it doesn't matter if she shrinks the boss initially. We just need to clear. Oh my god, even at 10 star she's not living past one round. The hell's the point? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do 20 tonight, guys. Let alone even finish 19. But we did get... 16, 17, and 18. I think I only had 15 done, so that's pretty awesome. And pushed Olivia to 10 star at least. 